What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Yes, this is what my hair looks like when I wake up. And yes, I probably have a crazy green mustache right now. But you know what? That's not important. That's not what this video is about. Today, I wanna tell y'all exactly what I've been doing in the gym and with my diet to maximize my muscle growth and get swole. Yes, that is a McDonald's you see behind me. No, you do not need to get your eyes checked. And yes, we're about to enjoy a delicious breakfast right here. So I went with a sausage and egg biscuit, two hash browns, as well as an orange juice. Mmm, mmm, man. I feel bad for people who are afraid to have McDonald's because they think it's gonna kill their gains. When I'm bulking up, I like to start my day with a meal that's about a thousand calories. This one was kinda low on protein, but I need about 3,400 calories to slowly gain weight. So if I eat less than a thousand, it's almost impossible for me to reach that goal. And if I eat more than a thousand, then personally, I just get too stuffed and it crashes my energy. Now, I'll be honest, I do not recommend that you eat McDonald's every day or for every single meal, but personally, I like to eat out one meal per day just because it saves me time. The, the challenge is now I need to make sure that I eat enough fruits and, and veggies in my next two meals to make sure that I'm getting enough vitamins and fibers for the day. So, it's okay, but don't be lazy. All the choices you made, did you make them Let me tell you, bro, since I've been bulking the last couple months, I have been so much happier. I get to eat more food, which means I get stronger in the gym. The workouts are more fun. Probably the only downside to bulking is that you're gonna gain a little bit of fat. And that's why it's crucial that you gain weight as slowly as possible. Personally, I try for just two pounds a month, but even if you're doing everything perfectly right, you're still gonna get a little chunky. And that is why I decided to partner with Manscaped to be the sponsor of today's video. I use their Lawnmower 2.0 razor once per week to trim my chest, my abs, my balls, and my tattoo. Because guess what, bro? When you start to grow hair on your chest and your abs, it covers up your muscle definition. But when you take this once a week and you trim that shit off, it brings out those muscle cuts. It makes you look more lean and defined. And when I'm bulking, I need all the help I can get. And this is the best tool for the job because it has a special ceramic blade, plus it has a powerful 6,000 RPM motor, and that combination allows it to get super close to your skin, but it's never gonna leave any nicks, cuts, or ingrown hairs. This thing is also super quiet, it's small and easy to travel with. It's 100% waterproof, so you can use it in the shower, and because they're sponsoring the video today, you can use my coupon code to get a nice, discount, just click that first link in the description. So when it comes to your workout routine, the most important thing is that you're following an actual routine that has a planned progression. Because if you're just another bro who's going into the gym like, I feel like doing bench press today. I feel like doing curls today then you're just leaving it up to chance. And yeah, you might make some progress, but the progress you make is gonna be like far, far, far below optimal. Now, y'all know that I do full body. If you prefer push-pull legs, that's fine too. The key thing is that you're actually tracking your progress every single workout. And the way that I like to do it is just by using a simple Word doc in the Google Docs app. So for example, this is the workout I'm doing today. And you can see for each exercise, I have the weight and the reps listed from the last time I did this workout. So for military press, last time I did 135 pounds for four sets of eight reps. And as they say, knowledge is power. Now I know exactly what I need to do in the gym today. As long as I increase the weight 
or the reps on each exercise I'm doing, I'm going to be making gains. And when you're making strength gains in the gym, usually that's a pretty good indicator you're also making mass gains. The other big benefit to tracking your progress like this is that every time I step in the gym, I have a purpose because every set I'm doing, there's a specific goal that I'm aiming for and that keeps me focused and makes it more challenging and exciting and it prevents me, like I never ever get bored with, with my training. Anyway, today we're getting started with overhead press, 140 pounds, we're trying to get four sets of eight reps and honestly, I think it's gonna be easy. Damn, bro, that felt even lighter than I expected. So next week, five more pounds. All right, quick tip for lap pull down. When you're bringing the weight down, bring it all the way down so you get a full contraction in your back and slowly let it raise back up because otherwise you're gonna end up doing this and that's just using momentum instead of your actual back muscles. All the choices you made, would you make the mud? All right, let's do a little physique update. Right now I'm weighing just below 185. And the last time I weighed this much was at the end of my previous bulk. And that must have been like five or six months ago. But I think that this physique is a massive improvement since then. I believe that my last cut was successful. I trimmed a lot of that body fat. And since then, since bulking back up, I've regained any muscle that I lost. I think that I've added new muscle on top of that. And if I'm being honest with y'all, yes, my diet and my training, they have been on point. I've been feeling it in the gym, but also I think that maybe the TRT is starting to take effect. So for those of you who don't know, I am on testosterone replacement therapy for the last month and a half. And once I hit that three month mark, I'm gonna give you guys a full breakdown. So for my post-workout shake, which is also my lunch, I switch it up based on what I'm feeling. Right now I'm feeling like a fruity, refreshing vibe. So I'm gonna do one cup of almond milk, one of these acai packets, two tablespoons of peanut butter, one banana, these are frozen for convenience, and then one, actually two scoops of strawberry protein powder to make up for that weak McDonald's breakfast that had like no protein. This is what the acai looks like, by the way. It is a delicious fruit, a little bit expensive, but there's a shit ton of uh, antioxidants in there. Mmm! Super refreshing, super healthy. I just love shakes because you can basically put any ingredient that you like into a shake and find your own combinations. And it's just like the perfect thing to make in the middle of the day. You can make it at night and bring it with you to work or to school the next day. Shake it up, bro. Shake up your life. All the choices you made, did you make them If there's one thing people in Texas are proud about more than anything, it's not their football, it's not their barbecue. It is actually a grocery store called HEB. And I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty dope. So tonight we're gonna cook up my favorite bulking dinner, a homemade pizza. We already got the pizza crust and we're gonna make this thing healthy, we're gonna make it delicious, and most importantly, it is gonna be full of gains. Yo, spicy red pepper pizza sauce. It says pasta sauce, but I like spicy. And habanero cheese, Whew. This one is about to be a burner. 
I'm trying to keep this cheap, so I'm gonna use ground beef for our protein. And honestly, this is one pound. This will be more than enough for tonight and breakfast tomorrow. Fun fact for y'all, a lot of time frozen veggies are actually fresher than fresh veggies because as soon as they harvest them, they freeze them right away. So they're not like sitting in the back of a truck for weeks. Y'all know I wasn't about to leave here without gainer shakes, right? So honest question, how can you tell if a pepper is fresh? Like, are you fresh, bro? Austin Beer Works Fire Eagle IPA, eight out of 10. So between six ounces of ground beef, some cheese, broccoli, the tomato sauce, the green bell pepper, and that pizza crust, we are looking at a pretty good chunk of calories. And now we will make the pizza. We will make a very good of the pizza. But seriously guys, I love making pizza because it's fun and just like with your shake, you can customize it to exactly what you want. You can literally put pretty much anything on the pizza and it's gonna be delicious. Houston, we have a pizza. And I don't mean to brag here, but I believe that I cooked this as perfectly as possible. Take a look at that. The cheese is melted, but it's not burnt. The crust is well cooked, but it is not burnt. This is just, this is a really good looking pizza. Now here's what people always get wrong when they make a pizza. They use a knife to cut it. No, put the knife down, bro. Pick up a nice pair of scissors and you're gonna get yourself a clean cut through the middle. You're gonna get picture perfect slices. Like take a look at this bro, this shit looks legit. Like I could take this right now, I could head over to the neighbor's door and be like, yo, delivery. And he'd probably be like, he'd probably take it, he'd take it. Mmm. You're not gonna believe this, but it tastes even better than it looks. Mmm. But yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. 1,000 calories for breakfast, six or 700 calories for my shake post-workout. And then for dinner, I'll just make up whatever calories I've left. Anyway, that is a screenshot of my fitness pal for the day. I pretty much hit my protein goal of 160 grams. On my calories, I'm a little bit low. But honestly, yesterday I was a little bit over, so I'm not too strict about it. At the end of the day, it all evens out. That all being said, I am going to wrap the video up here. Thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, click subscribe and turn notifications on because I drop new videos every Monday and every Thursday and you don't want to miss them. I will talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly.